Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about string buffer in Java. Okay. So, so first write a sample program in the Java. So we have already learned how to create a string values in the Java with with the help of string class. Okay. So now we are going to learn how to create a string objects, a string values with the help of string buffer class. Okay. String buffer. So this is our class name string buffer. Using this class, we need to create a string value. So okay. So what we can do? We can initialize initialize this class. We can create an object of this class. Okay. So SVR is a string buffer object and new. Then class name string buffer. Here we are calling the constructor. Okay. So we want to create some object SVR of string buffer kind. Okay, here uh, a string buffer kind of object will be created, and we can pass some value also like mark. Okay, and we can have system dot out print align SPR. So it will print the mark. Let's run this program and see the output. See mark is printed. Suppose if we pass nothing, if we pass nothing, then uh, SVR will be an empty object and it will have capacity of 16 characters. Okay, 16 characters it can hold. Let's run this program and see the output. So nothing is printed. Okay, and suppose if we print mark. Then it will print the mark on the output string. So whenever we want to update the mark, we want to append some more uh, more values into the mark, like last name of the mark. Then the last name of the mark will be appended into the sixteen empty empty locations. We can pass the capacity also. Like if we if we pass twenty here, then capacity will be thirty six. Okay. Initially we are uh, pass we are saying to the interpreter that. Uh, SBR is an object. It will hold. It will hold 20 characters. So 20 characters we can pass immediately, and it will create some extra space also of 16 characters. So 16 in future also 16 characters can be added. Let's run this program and see the output. So nothing is printed. Okay. Okay. Again, let's make it mark. Mark. Okay. And now where this mark is getting created? We have uh, two types of memories: stake memory, where the object will get the reference, like this SPR will be in the stake memory only. Okay, and we have another type of memory, memory which is called as heap, heap memory. So this mark will be stored into the heap memory, and this heap memory also have have some some portion, some area into the heap memory, which is called string constant pool. So in the string constant pool, uh, its uh, value will be stored. Which what value? Uh, the string which, which is created by the string literals. If we create some string value with the help of string class. Then those string value, then those string objects will be stored in the string constant pool. And string constant pool is part of the heap memory only. But here we are creating an object using the string buffer class, so mark will be stored into the heap memory only. So mark will be into the heap memory. Okay. So let me first comment it out. So mark will be created into the heap memory area, and as and we will have a ref reference of mark string buffer object. So string uh, string buffer object will have reference to the mark value. Mark string. Okay. Suppose now if we want to append the last name also into the mark, then how we can achieve that? We can use the append method. Sbr dot append like that. Okay. Mark Zuckerberg. So I don't know spelling spelling it's right or wrong, but let's let's call it Zuckerberg. Now we are appending Zuckerberg into the mark. So will it be valid? Will it be valid? How how it will happen in the memory area? So we are creating Zuckerberg. It means it means Zuckerberg will be added after the mark. In the like in in case of string, 
in case of string if we append something or assign uh, our string object to new value then the new then the new object will be created because strings are immutable but string buffer class are, classes are not string buffer classes are mutable so earlier we didn't had this zucker work here so zucker work will not be created as a separate separate object suppose uh, instead of string buffer we have we had used the string class only okay string class in that case new object will be created into the string constant pool area and spr will refer to the new object and this this reference will be gone this will be gone okay suppose it was a string then in, in, in case of a string first we will check the, the string constant pool area if mark zuckerberg exists or not if it doesn't exist then mark zuckerberg will be created as a new object new value and our spr string buffer object will refer to the new new value okay this will refer to the new value okay but we are not using string a uh, string class here we are using string buffer class okay so in in the in case of string buffer class we can we can mutate we can modify we can change the string itself so it will be like that the work okay it will be like that so new string object will not be created and mark zuckerberg will be stored and into the heap memory only it will not be stored into the string constant pool area it, it will be stored into the heap memory directly and as we are string buffer object is referring referring to the mark zuckerberg object okay so let's print the value of svr now let's run this program and see the output okay earlier mark was printed then here mark zuckerberg is printed okay because we have created new uh, we have updated our string okay now string is mark zuckerberg so we can see few few difference between the string class and string buffer class in string class uh, objects and strings are immutable they can not be changed if we want to assign a new value then new object will be created or oh, and old object will be taken care by the garbage collector okay but in case of string buffer class uh, strings are not immutable strings are mutable it means we can change the uh, strings so earlier we had mark in the string buffer object then we have updated we have appended zuckerberg so it will not create a new object it will update the existing object itself because we have this extra 16 16 bits it means we can append the 16 16 characters into the mark okay so main difference between the string and string buffer class is strings are immutable we can not change whenever we want to update some value or we want to modify some value then new object will be created with the updated value okay but in case of string buffer class we are not creating new object we are updating the values into the existing object itself okay so string buffer is mutable and strings are immutable and string buffer class is thread step like uh, synchronization will happen so we can share the string object between the multiple threads okay and whatever changes happen into the string object at particular specific time then after the threads which, which will execute after the updated value then they will receive the updated values only okay so it is thread set and string class also thread set because whatever we want to change it will be updated into the string object itself and string class is not memory efficient but string buffer class is memory efficient 